Hello all YouTube friends. Um, this is part two of my questions and answers uh, little section here. Um, not sure if I'm going to post these in order or not. I probably will, but um, still got my songwriter series going on. Uh, the songwriter sessions. I just set by the proper name, I guess, that I uh, created. I'm going to try to experiment with another light source I've got down here because everything from this half over has been really dark. I've been trying to figure out how to get another light source, and I forgot that I had a small little lamp down there, a lamp. So uh, I'm going to try to work with that. Maybe you can see everything a little bit more well-rounded. Um, this question was sent to me by Gary Howard, uh, a really good uh, preaching friend of mine uh, up in Crossville, Tennessee. And he, I think he pastors the Old Time Christian Fellowship, I think it's what it's called, somewhere I think that's what it is. I can't remember the directions, but he's on Facebook. Um, I'm assuming his Facebook name is Gary Howard. I'm not sure, but uh, if you find me on Facebook, he's one of my friends. So if you go to the Eric Beatty, Facebook.com slash the Eric Beatty, look at my friends list and you can find Gary Howard. He asked me this question about uh, how, to, how to do some strumming for praise and worship. And the more that I thought about it, the more that I thought that there's but one basic strum. Well, it's not basic. It's kind of advanced. One strum that you can use on just about any praise and worship song. And we're going to go over that strum right now. Um, well, the song I'm going to use is uh, Open the Eyes of My Heart. Um, when I was in a, a band with my brother, a contemporary Christian band, we played this song quite a bit. There's four or five songs we stuck to. And uh, this, I noticed this same strum can be used for just about all of them. But we're doing uh, Open the Eyes of My Heart. And for me to get this the way I need to, to be able to play it cleanly, I'm going to have to angle it up right here so you can see what's going on. Uh, Open the Eyes of My Heart has uh, about four main chords, I think. You've got the E, but we're playing it in an open position way up here at the seventh fret. And that's the power chord. <laughs> Okay, uh, so you're playing that, and I'm hoping you can see it. You've got the seventh and the ninth frets you're using. You've got the first finger on the A string, and then the third and fourth fingers on the uh, D and G strings of the ninth fret. And you're just going to play all six strings. Okay. There's no third in there, it's all one and five. One, five, one, five, it's the first uh, root and the fifth. And then, well, it's got variations of different chords in here. But just to give you an idea, um, we're just gonna, uh, just mainly go over the focus on the strumming. So here's what it's gonna sound like. Played it, it sound like this. My heart, I 
didn't know I was going to sing that, but I'm glad I did. It felt good. Um, so the basic strum, if you could tell when you listen to that, it had the same type of, of rhythm the whole time. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of giving myself a little double bass hit. And then a strum. Gives an extra attitude and it keeps me, for some reason it helps me stay in, um, in tempo. figure out how it goes. The strum, it's hard to, to uh, take, it apart, take it apart. Okay, it's going to be uh, two down strokes on the bass and then two strums down. So just get that part down. And there's going to be two upstrokes. And then the last one's going to be a down. Okay, so that's the first half. So it's bass, bass, down, down, up, up, down. And the, the second down is going to lead to a quick up. part of that is going to be a downstroke. So if I wrote it out, the arrows will be saying, it would be like this, it would be bass, matter of fact I'll do that for you right now. I'll grab my whiteboard here, kind of give you an idea of what's going on. Uh, i got to race what's on here, doing some lessons on here. Okay. Stuff don't come off too easy. You leave it on there about two weeks. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, so we're gonna go bass, bass, down, down, up, up, down. Okay, this is the first half of the uh, thing. So I don't think you can see that. Bass, bass, down, down, up. That's what this is for. This is a quick shift. Bass, bass, down, down, up, up, down. Okay, so, I don't know if you can even see that or not, probably not with all this light glaring, but I'll leave it there anyway just in case. So, try to watch this and keep an eye on what I'm doing here. Turn this microphone around, make sure it's not muffled. Okay, that's the first half. And then the second half is easy. It's down, up, down, up. It's an even pattern. And then it starts all over with the basses again. So all together it's...
and that is with um, I think with every um, every chord change I think is the same pattern it may be a little different but and the second half is down up down up and it's all an even pattern and uh, I don't know if you can read that or not it might be might even be too uh, small for you I don't know that's what it looks like if you can see it let me just play a little bit more and uh, see if it's the same pattern yeah, it's really even it's really symmetrical throughout the whole thing so it's going to be the same thing we got a bass bass down up up or bass bass down down up up down down up down up That was for every chord, like I said, and uh, open the eyes. Okay, um, let's see if there's. Some other songs are, uh, they go by faster so you don't have time to do it like that, but the majority of the praise and worship songs you'll hear, <clears throat> excuse me, the majority of the praise and worship songs that you will hear involve the same, this same pattern. And this is what we're going to call, without me having to pick it up and write it down, the praise and worship strumming pattern, okay? And I'll, it's probably going to be the title of this, uh, Questions Answered, Part 2, the Praise and Worship Strumming Pattern. So there that is, that's dedicated to you, Gary, and I hope that really helps you uh, work on some of that praise and worship stuff. Once again, I'll do it real slow. Watch this hand, because I'm going to keep this hand where it needs to be. You can, you can do this with this chord, with any other chord you're playing. Playing a G. notice I'm punching the very first downstroke bass bass down it just sounds better it's more percussive like that so uh, I hope you enjoyed that and um, now that it's getting close to Christmas, I like to do Christmas stuff every year, so I'll probably be doing a few of those uh, videos as well. Um, it's getting pretty late, but I'm still wide awake, and I need to work on some videos for you guys, so I may do a couple of those now, I'm not sure, but hopefully this light source is <laughs> helping you see me a lot better. But enjoy that. Uh, subscribe. Please subscribe. Find me on Facebook, uh, The Eric Beatty. Find me on Twitter, The Eric Beatty. I'll be posting, uh, hopefully pretty soon, be posting a lot of Twitter feed stuff that I've been working on trying to get that going and of course my YouTube channel right here that you're watching so enjoy that and I'll see you guys on the next lesson until then uh, enjoy the songwriter sessions because I'm pretty sure it's still going on at this time so thanks guys appreciate it